Hey everyone, it's Rena, and welcome back to my channel. I know I have been away for quite a minute. Um, there's a good reason for that. Uh, life has took me for one hell of a ride. It's been so chaotic. And so today's video is basically a story time. Um, so if you are interested in stories and want to know what happened in my life that made me flip upside down and uh, move <laughs> and get sick and everything, then stick around. So it all started with in January how I was kind of gone. I didn't really do many videos in January either because I got sick for like half of the month of January and the other half of the month of February. So I don't really know what caused this, but I had damage to my stomach lining. I basically was vomiting. I had the works just just put it that lightly i had the works it was the worst pain i've ever had i literally couldn't eat anything for like mm, five days yeah five five days and then after i could i could barely drink anything I, I couldn't barely get even water down i like the first two two days um it was literally just me trying to drink one bowl of soup that i've started the previous day I couldn't get anything down. It was, or if I did try to eat, it was just extremely painful. So then, after when I was finally able to get that down and settled, I was on medication for a while. Um, I had, I was during the first episode of it. I was literally taken to the hospital, um, but via ambulance, and yeah. So a lot of crazy crap had happened. And then when I had called nine one one. Um, so l let me, let me backtrack. Let me, let me backtrack here. Okay. So it all started with me getting sick at like three o'clock in the morning. I didn't know what was going on. So I started panicking, but then I started honestly vomiting up blood. Um, so yeah, that, that le led to me calling 911, getting my boyfriend to wake up and call 911 because I was not sure if I was dying or what the hell was going on. So then after I, we had called, uh, the fire, uh, fighters came, two of them. So two of them came in, didn't really do all that much other than just talk to me and keep me coherent. Um, and yeah, so that happened. And then the ambulance came. So the only reason why I bring that part up is because it leads into the other stuff. So after we started getting all my health situation kind of under wraps I went to the hospital nothing really happened they couldn't figure out I did a lot of tests they were like I have no idea what is wrong with you so just go home and try to rest and um we'll see you if anything else happens so bye um yeah so that was pretty much it and it took my family doctor to figure out there's probably some damage with my stomach lining and so she prescribed me some medication and so on and so forth it was like a month long medication and yeah so I'm a lot better now um and then I bring up the firefighters because when they came to our house so I was living in a basement apartment um it wasn't the greatest uh place uh, but I mean, it did for what I needed it to do because I was, I'm in school again. <laughs> uh, the firefighters came and they saw how the place looked and they said it wasn't up to code. So they called it in and that led to me having to find a new place to live. I had no idea where I should be moving to. My boyfriend wanted to kind of stick around in the area because he does work in the area and he works two other jobs, including that other that one that's in this area. And so he wanted to stay somewhere close that he's you can basically either bike to or walk to. So I get that. Working three jobs, wanted to stay somewhere close to one of them. Okay. As we were looking, our landlord was like, Hey, listen, I have another place. You can stay there. We go to the place. And we're like, okay, it looks all right. It's not the greatest, but it'll do. We're only doing this for like a temporary, temporary time period. So maybe like three months or so or something. I don't know. Something very temporary um, until we could find something better. Because we had like a month to get out of our current place. And that's a lot of stress and trying to find places. And this is in, what, March? So a lot of people usually move around, like, April. Because especially I live close to a university. 
that's when a lot of people usually move out of the area because they're done school. Um, anyways, so uh, we were like, okay, cool, we'll move there. So the week of basically March break, I'm supposed to be at home studying and then uh, getting ready to move and organizing all our stuff. And he was like, you can move in as of like the 15th. So the 16th come along, we go to move in our stuff. I was kind of skeptical, but I was like, whatever, I'll t pack the car. We'll get on our way to just start heading out and just go. Um, take a look at the place. This place has, he told us that a cleaning lady had came by. And honestly, the place was completely trashed. Like there was holes in the wall. I was like, what the hell happened? There was a dead mouse in the sink. I was like, what kind of, how are you going to tell me that a cleaning lady came to the house and cleaned anything? Because clearly there's like a dead mouse in there. Um, there. It hasn't been cleaned. So sir, no, I can't live here. This is not up to standards. Uh, no, I no, just no. Well, anyways, we did a walkthrough where we were completely distraught because we were like, what are we going to do? We have basically like a week and a half to find out and move out. So where are we, where are we living? Where are we living? We're panicking. Uh, the, literally the following day, obviously we told the landlord of what happened because we were like, did you not just lie to us and tell us that there was a cleaning lady when you actually didn't have anyone and uh try to get us to move into this place but he's like no there was a cleaning lady they had uh probably had the previous tenants he was trying to kick them out backstory on that one he was trying to kick them out because they weren't paying rent so he tried to get us to move in in order to have them move out. That's That was basically what was going on for that situation. That should have been my first red flag right there. Red flag number one. Um, should have known not to do that. Take that offer. But anyways, so he, we were on our way out trying to figure out what the hell we're going to do. And I'm glad we didn't put our stuff in that place because when we were looking, well, as we were walking out of the place, we realized there was someone upstairs in like the area that's supposed to be the living room. And then later on, we found out the person who was in the living room was actually the person who used to be in the basement. He was supposed to be living there temporarily because my landlord was like, hey, I'll let you stay for a couple days extra because you say your place isn't available until April 1st. So why don't I be a good person and put you into this area until your place is available? How about that? And then this guy was like, yeah, thanks. I'm going to proceed by trashing your place. So the reason why there was holes in the wall and everything else looked awful and distraught was because this guy, this guy decided that he was going to come in and trash the place. So, yeah, that's a little lesson to my landlord. Be careful who you let into the house um, and be careful who you do favors to because clearly there was no point. Um, he, he clearly didn't respect what you were doing and did not care for your environment and the place, the position that you gave him. But anyways, um, we were in a panic trying to figure out a new place. So literally the next day we just looked at a set of condos and like other places. Did you know that there's a bidding war for condos? Like you can't just be like, oh, this place is nice. And I'm not talking about like paying for the condo, like buying it. I'm talking about renting it. Like there's literally a bidding war just for renting a condo. So like you can be like, oh, okay, this place is nice. Um, you listed it at uh, 1950. Hmm, that's quite a bit. Okay, that's not too bad though. I guess I can do that. Um, what do you mean someone outbid me and they put it for 21? What? So you mean I can't have the place because someone outbid me? So yeah, that was the first time we were looking. We looked at one and that's literally what happened. So. When we looked at the another set of condos, the next time, the pre the day after, uh, we literally put in an offer that day because we were like, you know what, we don't know what's gonna happen. I don't even know if we got to see the place. Yeah, we got to see the place before we went went to put in an offer. Luckily, um, because the real estate agent or lady person, I can't remember what they're called, but she knew our situation and so she made it happen that we were able to get a place uh, to check out immediately 
Um, I guess she probably heard the stress in her voice and like the worry and probably like the tears in my <laughs> in my throat at that time. But anyway, so we saw the place. It looked fantastic. It looked gorgeous. Honestly, it was like the newest renovated unit in the whole entire place. Um, but it was definitely way out of our price league. But uh, she suggested that we could put a little bit under than what the guy was asking for. And uh, yeah, so... Long story short, because it's already getting long, uh, we did get the place. We still paying out of our asses, <laughs> so it sucks for me in the sense that like I'm in school, so I'm not really working that much. But I also have uh, three jobs now. So, um, with that being said, I don't know how often I will be posting videos. Um. I'm still doing Vroid characters, so if anyone wants a character model made for them, hit me up because I can use all the help I can get. Like any form of income is a great form of income right now, other than selling my body because <laughs> that ain't happening. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, working like three jobs, so I work at two clinics, and then I also do personal training on the side. Um, so. I might not be on here as much, but I really hope to maybe do a stream later sometime in the next coming months because now that I'm no longer sharing internet with like 10,000 people, <laughs> uh, internet should be a lot easier for uh, streaming. So I look forward to doing that. And I do have a few game uh, plays in for the future. Like I'm going to be checking out the new Devour map. Um, so if anyone watches my videos for gaming, uh, yeah, I have that coming up. And then I'm also going to check out, I think the game's called The Notebook, but I can't really remember. But we're going to try that this weekend. Still weird, still weird voices that I, not voices, sounds that I hear in the background, but it could just be the halls. It's, it is a condo for all I know. There's people moving around all the time. Um, but it's pretty soundproof. I don't hear anyone walking or vacuuming. I think vacuuming might be the only one you can hear in specific rooms and it's not that loud. You, it's like a, a light hum. But yeah, um, I hope to see you guys soon and I will try to make more Vroid videos. I do have one hairstyle that I was in the process of trying to make originally, but I was just so stressed out and upset and depressed and so I started filming that and that went out the window. See, so even the character, like the whole character just looks dise disheveled. So yeah, I will probably start that over. And um, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Thanks for listening to me ranting, basically. Anyways, take care. Bye.